Here is showing conversions on mass to moles and moles to mass stoichiometry problems. Let's start with converting mass of one substance to the moles of another substance. Here is the problem. How many moles of nitrogen gas is required to produce 23.0 grams of ammonia gas? So from this information, guys, uh, generally only the word equations are given and whenever that happens you want to make sure you are writing the balanced equation first so here i have a balanced equation already once again you always want to start out with the balanced equation so 23.0 grams of ammonia are given i'm going to write this from there over here so this is given meaning this is known and what do i have to find i have to find moles of nitrogen gas so i'm going to put a question mark because I have to find find this. So I'm going to go from what I know, so this is my substance A, to what I do not know. So from known to the unknown. So what is my known? The mass of substance A, which is ammonia, and to the unknown moles of substance B, which is nitrogen gas. Okay. Let's start out with the given. So what's given here is 23 0 0.0 grams of ammonia so guys we cannot do this problem in one step we can't just convert the mass of one substance to the moles of another substance directly we have to go through the moles so we are going to use fractions in the middle so first let's convert this mass of ammonia to its moles by using the molar mass conversion factor so you know this equivalent fact this is the equivalent that in one the one mole of nitrogen ammonia so molar mass of one mole of ammonia is 17.03 grams and we get that from periodic table so you can make two fractions from here you can have this in the numerator this in the denominator or this in the numerator and this in the denominator i'm going to make a fraction in such a way that i get my grams of ammonia cancelled out because i want the moles of ammonia okay so i'm going to keep this at the bottom and this one at the top because I want the moles of ammonia. Okay. So always starting unit at the bottom, ending unit at the top. Cancel this and this, the same units gets cancelled out. Well, we can stop here because we are not finding the moles of ammonia. Our question is asking us to find how many moles of nitrogen are consumed, not the moles of ammonia. So we have another step here. We want to convert this moles of ammonia to moles of nitrogen. How do we do that? We have to compare, we have to use this balanced equation to compare the mole ratios here. So we have for one mole of nitrogen consumed, we are producing two moles of ammonia. So this is coming from a balanced equation. This is a mole ratio. And here, here it is, one mole of nitrogen used is producing two moles of ammonia once again you always write the unknown at the top and known at the bottom when you make fractions so i'm going to use the fraction here i want to get rid of moles of ammonia so this is going to go in the denominator all right and this one at the top cancel and when you calculate this you are going to get 7527. Seven. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 3, 6 fix. So our answer will be in 3, 6 fix. Okay, guys. So just always make sure that you are using these steps. I'm right, I have written these steps for you right here. Convert the mass of substance A. This is my substance A to its mole value, right? And what did I use to convert this mass to moles? I have used the periodic table. And then from here, convert the moles of substance A to convert the moles of substance A to the moles of substance B by using the mole ratio of two substances. Now, these two substances will always depend on the problem. So in this problem, our two substances we were, we were having was moles of ammonia and moles of nitrogen. That's what we compared. All right. And don't forget to write the unit here and the substance at the end. So this is 0 0.675. So I'm going to write 0 0.675 moles of nitrogen. I'm sorry, I think I said ammonia. It's nitrogen. All right. Now let's do this. Let's do the problem where 
we are now converting from moles to mass. So this is opposite. So let's start with this. Determine the mass of sodium chloride produced when 2.13 moles of chlorine gas reacts with excess sodium. So once again, if only the word problem is given, we have to make sure we write down the balanced equation first. So what are we doing here? We are given the moles of one substance and we have to figure out the mass of another substance. All right. So what? So moles of chlorine consumed. How many moles of chlorine are consumed? 2.13 moles. So this is our known because this is given in the problem already. What are they asking us to find? They're asking us to find the mass of sodium chloride. So I'm going to put a question mark here and I'm going to write grams because the mass in grams, so this is my unknown. So here this is my substance A, this one is A, and this is my substance B. So I'm going from substance A, moles of substance A, which is chlorine, to the grams, which is mass of substance B, and this my substance B is sodium chloride. All right. Once again, we are going to go from the known moles of this substance, which is chlorine, to the unknown mass of substance B, which is sodium chloride. Let's start with the given again. 2.13 moles of chlorine. All right. Uh, so we can't convert these moles of chlorine to the mass of another substance, meaning the sodium chloride directly. We have to go to the moles. So what are we doing here? We are converting the given moles of chlorine to the moles of sodium chloride by using the mole ratio. So I'm going to convert uh, this here. I'm going to convert the moles of substance A to the moles of substance B by using the mole ratio of the two substances. Now, what are the two substances we are talking about? We are talking about the two substances, which is sodium chloride and the moles of chlorine. So look at the balanced equation here. For every one mole, so when you don't see any number here, one coefficient for every one, chlor for every one mole of chlorine molecule consumed, we are producing two moles of sodium chloride. All right, so here, and this is right here as well. Here is the equivalent, two moles of sodium chloride for one mole of chlorine consumed. Right. I want to get rid of moles of chlorine, so I'm going to write this at the bottom. This one, one mole of chlorine and two moles of sodium chloride at the top. You want to understand that this ratio, so this ratio, the mole ratio, is coming from the balanced equation. Okay, but we can stop here because the question is not asking us to find the moles of sodium chloride. The question is asking us to find the grams of sodium chloride. And how do we convert the moles to grams? By using the molar mass. So once again, we are going to use the molar mass. So what did we do first? First we converted the moles of substance A to the moles of substance B. And now, uh, by using the mole ratio. Now we are converting this moles of substance B to the mass of substance B. Here is another equivalent. One mole of sodium chloride is equals to 58.44 grams. So this is the molar mass of sodium chloride and we get that from the periodic table. This, this is a truth which we already know. This is an equivalent here. So let's make the fraction from here. You want to get rid of moles of sodium chloride so I'm going to write that at the top, bottom, okay? And then you want to figure out the grams of sodium chloride. I'm going to write here 58.44 grams of sodium chloride. So you cancel this and this, this and this, same unit. So this and this, same units cancel. This one and this one, same units gets canceled out. Use your calculator and you're going to get this many grams of sodium chloride. So one, two, three, six, six, so only three significant figures. It will be 248 grams of sodium chloride is produced from 2.13 moles of chlorine. Okay, guys. Now, let's review again. What did you, ha what have you done? You have converted the moles of substance A, this one, 
to moles of substance B, all right, and to the mass of substance B. So what are you doing from moles to moles to mass? And these are the steps here again. Okay, guys, just make sure you practice as much as possible. Thank you. Thank you for watching.